I mean, we've had a great time watching the comedic stylings of Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns after their win. But as we look ahead at this series, how competitive can they be against Dallas? How do you like this one? It's a really fascinating series, right? Because the Timberwolves haven't been this far in, in 20 years and the current stars were, you know, probably in the proverbial diapers at the time or not very far beyond that, if anything. And the Mavericks, you know, they made a, a conference finals a couple of years ago against the Warriors. I don't think anybody thought they were really ready to break through then. They might be ready to break through now. Um, but this is one of those series where you look at it and you could talk yourself you know, in circles as to who should be the favorite or how long this is going to go. Um, this is this is an opportunity for Luca in, in particular, right? He finished third in the MVP voting. He's been a perennial MVP candidate for the last several years. And he's got a, a phenomenal co-star now in Kyrie Irving, who a lot of us, certainly I was skeptical that that pairing was going to work and it's worked fabulously. Um, that's an incredible and very lethal one-two punch. They've got some great role players and defenders around them. Uh, so that all said, the Mavericks are more, they're a little younger in their process, right? Like Kyrie just got there, you know, 14 months ago or whatever it was. This is their first full season together. Derek Lively, their starting center is, is a rookie. Daniel Gafford and PJ Washington, who we've all raved about how great a contribution they've made since the trade deadline, got there at the trade deadline. So it, they're still a little new. The Wolves, on the other hand, this is two full seasons now with Rudy Gobert. This is multiple seasons with uh, Towns and Anthony Edwards. That core has been together for a bit. Their coach has been there. Everybody's been in place. They, if I, if I have to pick, and I hate picking, um, I lean toward the Wolves in this series only because I think there's a little more continuity and uh, just time together. The chemistry is established, but also they've got size, right? Like that Towns go bare front court is a beast. Just ask Nikola Jokic, who just uh, had to wave goodbye a couple days ago. And I, I do think it's going to be really interesting to see Lively and Gafford, who have just feasted at the rim off of, of Luca Lobs in, in, in particular, are they going to get those same opportunities when you've got two seven-footers, you know, standing around the paint? Yeah, and Jaden McDaniels and Carl Anthony Towns and Nas Reed. I mean, you're seeing that when Anthony Edwards talked about that, when he had a slow game offensively, he could trust his players around him to pick up where he left off. I mean, we saw that happen effectively. So if we take that into consideration, how do you like their game versus the Dallas game? I think the first thing I'm, I'm really interested to see is I assume it's going to be Jaden McDaniels on Luka, but it's probably going to have to be a lot of people on Luka. Anthony Edwards, uh, in the wake of that Game 7 win, was already talking about, and I love hearing this from a young star, right, who's like, here's this guy, he's got all this game, all these skills. Anthony Edwards is, you know, going to throw 20, 25, 30 points on the board, and in, a, in, in creative ways, he's explosive, he's skilled, he's got great footwork. But the first thing he's telling the, uh, I think it was the TNT crew on Sunday in the wake of that win was, and Kyrie's my assignment. That's it. I can't wait to, to go check Kyrie. And he, and he boasted about, uh, you know, locking down Jamal Murray in the second half of, of game seven. That's just awesome when you hear a young player just really enthused about the defensive assignment. And I think Anthony Edwards, he's a great defender. Um, if he can lock up Kyrie and the Mavericks can muster, or excuse me, the Wolves can muster enough defense to throw at Luka, you know, it's going to be a really tough uphill battle for the Mavericks, right? Because all of their scoring is generated by those two stars. And the Timberwolves uh, were, I think, number one or number two in defense all year. And they have the personnel to stymie just about anybody. Again, ask the Denver Nuggets, the defending champs. And so uh, this is going to be a really st uh, tough test for the Mavericks, but I don't rule them out. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.